Hi everyone, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Um, today I'm going to walk you through how to create that scrolling um, website design, a really scrolling screen um, on any device using a photo. Um, in this tutorial we are going to be using um, one of our photos from the blush from the Made You Blush collection available in our shop. So if you like this photo, check it out. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we have this photo. Um, we are going to first grab the photo or the screen that you want. So get that set up. You can resize it. Let me move this down a bit. Okay. When you have this photo, uh, make it invisible for now. So we're just gonna hide it. Okay, let's zoom in and then we're gonna go to the uh, polygon lasso tool. So if you don't have it, it's un probably under lasso tool. Just select that. And then as carefully uh, and closely as possible, um, go through and make this fit the screen. Pretty much going to create a border. And there you go. Okay, so now that you have that, make this visible again. And you're going to see that it like uh, covers it. Then you're going to go to this icon here to add layer mask and click that. So now you can see that it's covering or that it just um, pulled that together. Okay, so you can center this a bit. Okay, and obviously you can kind of go through and make it a little bit more detailed. Okay, and then we're going to select the image and we're going to remove this uh, lock. So we don't want them to be connected or to be locked. Okay. So next step, we're going to go to Window, then Timeline. Let me remove this. Okay, sorry. So um, we're going to go to Timeline. And you're going to have two options, Create Frame Animation or Create Video Timeline. We are going to start with create frame animation. So select that. And then you're going to hit this plus frame button. Oh, too many. Okay, so now you're going to have two. So highlighting the second one, you're going to go here to this image. Again, make sure it's unlocked. You're going to hold down shift and just start pulling this image up. So you're going to go down all the way to the footer. And then you're going to select both of them. You can change the time delay. Um, when it comes to the timing and even the tween, like you're going to have to play around with it to best fit your like design and everything. But then we're, so once these two are highlighted, you're gonna go to tween animation. So click this icon. You're gonna go to frames to add and change this anywhere between like 20 to 30, more or less, depending on um, like what you prefer and then should hit okay. And you can see now that this has like a bunch of anim like frames within the two. But when you play it, it starts going down. Um, and it's going to keep scrolling. So it's giving you that animation. Um, and you can adjust this, like I said, so you can do Command Z. Let's say you want this a little slower. You can do it. Um, like that. This one's a little faster. Um, and 
yeah, if it's a little bit faster, then it's not going to be as choppy. Um, but just choose what kind of works best for you. Okay, and once you are ready, you're going to export this. So you are going to export this in two ways. So first, um, save for web is if you want this as a GIF. So like an image or um, like if, yeah, like a .gif version. So if that's what you want, then you can um, save it as such. Let this load for a quick minute. And like you can see, you can preview it here if you'd like. And then when you're ready to hit save and you're done. If you want this for Instagram or any type of video, you're going to render video. Change the name, make sure it's high quality, and then hit render and you're all set to go. Okay. So that's how you make that if you are using like a photo. So let's delete this. Um, let's delete this. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to add a video if you have a video. Um, yeah. Okay. So you have your image. We're going to select the square. I'm going to try to get this as good as possible. Okay. We are going to turn that layer into a smart object. So convert to smart object. Select the smart object, double click, and then go to this section. So it's going to open up to a new window or new tab. And this is where you're going to add your video. Okay. So just drag and drop your video in. So, this is not the right size for my video, but this is just an example, so it's okay. So just hit return. You're going to uh, command S for save, and then you're going to exit out. And you can see that it's now within your screen. Okay. We're going to go back to the timeline. So um, Windows, Timeline, and it gets you here. Now, instead of choosing Create Frame Animation, we're going to do Create Video Timeline. And you can see here that there's like the rectangle and the layer. So the main thing is you want to see that these are both like the same length. If they're not, make sure they are. And then just hit play. And is this loading? Okay. okay, there we go. Um, yeah, if just sometimes give it a moment so it loads. Cause sometimes it just takes a minute for it to load. Um, but there you go, and you can have your video then added within the screen. Um, and again, you can, um, for this one, I would just render video. Um, it's going to be hard to ex um, export it as a GIF. So for this one, you're going to render video. Change the name, make sure it's high quality, hit render, and you are all set. Um, this is going to keep stopping. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, I hope that is helpful. Um, feel free to subscribe, comment, uh, like the video if this was. Um, and don't forget to check out dragonflyavenue.com for more tips and tutorials. Um, and design resources and design services. Uh, thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye.